<laughs> Proper friends with, with uh, the Obamas. You were at the famous last kind of White House party. I was there. It was scary. There it was, was sad. It was daunting. It was I remember, I, um, I just remember, like, hanging out and, like, first of all, every black person was there. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jay-Z, Beyonce. Oprah! It's, it's like I died and went to black heaven. <laughs> and I remember at one point of the night, I was like with Michelle Obama, and she was like kind of sad. And she's like, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh. I don't know what's going to happen. And I was like, you'll be all right. <laughs> I'll be, you know, you'll be all right. You know, you know, Housewives of Atlanta, you know, something. You'll, <laughs> you'll get on something. And... <laughs> And she looks at me and she goes, I was talking about the country. <laughs> I've never felt so stupid in my life. When you go with all your jokes, you hope that there's... Obviously, there's different references that they won't get, and some things are very British-centric, and I didn't know that if they knew... I have a joke about... Um, well, it involves the words hanky-panky. What is it? I can't do the whole joke. Why not? Because I it's on my new TV show. <laughs> doing one of our songs from our album. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, OK. I like the fact that you checked with me whether Hanky Panky was all right. That no, was really nice. Was I, I was just yeah, you just, you just res Yeah, you looked at me and said, it's because the word um, Hanky Panky. You know, sorry, so I, I might be well, the, offended what, by But what did the joke is funny on? The, the joke, well, the, do you want me to do the joke? It's just a silly joke. <laughs> it's a joke about words that come with another word. So there's, like, chit-chat or chat. So what's the difference between chat and chit-chat? Why? People say, do you want to have a chat? Or we just had a chat? We had a bit of chit-chat, but it's pretty much the same thing. The difference, of course, <laughs> is chit. But people never have a chit. They never go, <laughs> would you like a chit? No, I don't have time for a chat. Could we have a little chit? <laughs> or we probably have a chit-chat. So I would gathered all these words up, like, um, like willy-nilly, nitty-gritty, you get to the nitty, you do sometimes get to the gritty, not the nitty, hurly-burly, dilly-dally, wishy-washy, argy-bargy, honey-daddy, <laughs> and hodgepodge. <laughs> <laughs> is hanky panky because well everybody hopes I can only speak as a man but men tend to hope for hanky panky on a daily basis but often we must make do with hanky sometimes we get to the end of the day and uh, it looks like panky's on the cards <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't think panky was was happening today and we're like, I'm not sure I can do panky because I went hanky early doors. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can refrain from hanky, there's a good chance of rampy pumpy. <laughs> so, I didn't know whether they had the phrase hanky panky in Australia. Oh, <laughs> so I yeah. said to my tour manager, who is the sweetest, smallest Maltese man? He's a tiny, sweet. Malteser. Malteser. <laughs> <laughs> With a bald head, so, like, you've eaten the top off. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, uh, his name's Gratz, yeah. I said, Gratz, can you go and find out if, if they know the phrase hanky-panky here? Because I don't want to do this joke and everyone just stares at me. So he went over to the largest Australian <laughs> security man <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> he was just standing like that. And he just went, excuse me, are you familiar with the phrase hanky-panky? <laughs> And he was just like, you better get away from me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. I think that's, yeah. That's a great joke. Um, were they familiar with it? Yes, it went very well. <laughs> Tell me about the fact... OK, it's not, it's not, it's not funny, but it, it, I'm, I'm interested in what your opinion is. Because okay. you can be underwhelmed, you can be overwhelmed... Right. But you're never just... Well, 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 well are you? I spoke about this two yes. days ago. Not yes. you me. You I spoke about this, some, yes. this two days ago. Well, you're right. Like, you can be uh, dishevelled, but never well? shovelled. <laughs> <laughs> well, ruthless, but yeah. not... You ever say, God, he's got a lot of Ruth. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. This is a good point. Good point. Wow. I feel like there are other words that always go with, like... Shuffled. Like, torrential I... will always go with rain. Yes. People tend not to say... My favourite is a Kimbo. You can only arms. have legs. <laughs> can you have arms akimbo? Arms akimbo oh, I for thought sure. it was just legs no, akimbo. I think that's have you seen her dance? I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're right, the whelmed. This is a good thought. If I ever went solo, that would be my name. Whelmed? No, legs akimbo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
lovely way of using social media as a tribute to your partner, Jane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, yeah. I like your in-the-bar faces that you do. I do in-the-bar faces, but then I also get pictures where if we're out or something, I, I, I sort of, like, lag behind and get Jane by herself with no one on, and I take a picture of her, and I tweet Jane with all her friends. <laughs> yeah, so... And this is always a So, like, bit, imagine, so, so... I, I don't know how funny Jane finds these, but <laughs> they are funny. Fine. So, uh, here, here's one you tweeted of Jane. Jane <laughs> thought she'd made a new friend. But it was just a shadow. Which <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the next one? Oh, this, this is exactly what you're describing. Jane thinking about making new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Jane, look at those crows. <laughs> <laughs> but does she not know you're doing it? Does no, she not, not think, where time. is he? She, where is he? She sees the tweet. <laughs> uh, this, this one is uh, uh, Jane is looking so happy because her new friend hasn't walked away yet. <laughs> Yeah, but when you're when she's posing for one of these pictures, does she go, "Is this one of those pictures where you're going to make me look like I have no?" Friends? No, no. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm so convincing. <laughs> but also, there, there had to be there had to be a few words at home after you posted this one. Just found this photo of Jane when she was little. <laughs> <laughs> That's what being in a relationship for 30 years does. <laughs> Is it true, and this seems unlikely, that you own a single piece of every bit of memorabilia that they produced for Lord of the Rings? Oh, well... That's half true. So I've got a few things from the actual film. So I have the ring, I have Sting, I have a map from, um, Bilbo's study or the living room in Bag End. And I just recently, because I, I went back and did the final bit on The Hobbit, um, and they gave me the book that Bilbo writes in. He writes The Hobbit, there and back again, A Hobbit's Tale, and then I finish it as Lord of the Rings. They gave me that red volume, which the is beautiful. The actual prop? Yeah. Whoa. And on my last day in Hobbiton, it was pretty oh. magical. I know, oh. it was amazing. Hobbiton. But then in I, Hobbiton. I know. <laughs> this is set! This is all right. It's, it's a real prop. So listen, it's a, re it's a real place. They've actually... No, it's not! Graham. Step <laughs> in his dream! <laughs> Don't you screw up his dream! <laughs> his, so his feet are big too. <laughs> Let him dream! So they've actually built it. Um, they, we built it for, for Lord of the Rings. We took all of the, the facades away, and then it's since been a tourist attraction. And now it's been rebuilt for The Hobbit, but with sustainable materials, with real wood, so it'll always be there. Whoa. So from now on, you'll actually get to see Hobbiton and visit it as a real place. And will people... Oh. Well, can you... Will you be able to you stay there? You can't stay there, no. You can't... Oh. But they are turning the Green Dragon well, pub into a visitor it, center. Yeah. <laughs> there will be wonderful people we coming in. Fit in. Where's my bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the jacuzzi. <laughs> Just there we go. Let's get it going, Bobby. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> sure people go, yes, we're going to Hobbiton for Christmas. <laughs> I, turned, I turned 19 when we first went to Hobbiton. And I'm oh. 30 now. I was talking to Pete when we were there on wow. my last day. I said, you realize that I had my 19th birthday in, in Hobbiton. Hobbiton? Yeah. Isn't that wild? Wow. Yeah, it wild. Puts, puts things into perspective. Wow. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. Not many people can say that I had my birthday party in Hobbiton. Hobbiton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was circumcised at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Because no one could have known that it was going to take off and be, become a real place. Stop it. It's like a real place. It's a whole tourist industry based on that. Good luck getting into New Zealand, asshole. Oh, I know. Why should they show this? Oh, no, no. Oh, look, it's him. Okay. It's Graham Norton. Come on, Graham, good luck on you. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a hobbit denier. <laughs> he doesn't believe in hobbit. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Based on your life. I mean, this is things. Yeah, but. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Loosely, Graham. No, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you? What? The, the washing. You were very hungover. Oh. 
Yeah. Go on, tell Tony Foster that story. <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back, and while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> And then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry, and then the next day I went into school... <laughs> I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm. They, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway. I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> had got mixed up in the wash she'd done. <laughs> and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is... <laughs> Such a low point, you <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the curry and the booze the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I I I did like a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> and I started I started going, oh god, not this! Not this as well. Oh Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly... 